An unfortunate situation where we now know that one teenager was shot and killed here at the Brooklyn Metro Station. And many inside of this Northeast community say they are upset to know that another young life was taken in D.C. D.C. police have released these pictures of the suspect wanted in connection with a shooting that left one teenager dead at the Brookland Metro Station in Northeast D.C. News of the death leading to frustration for people in this Northeast neighborhood. And we're tired of this. We're tired. We're sick and tired of this. I'm very upset, very disturbed. This used to be a very lovely neighborhood. D.C. police say bullets were fired on the platform around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Investigators say a group of teenagers were fighting when the suspect, seen here, who was not involved in the altercation, fired a gun, striking at least one of the teenagers. Metro Transit police say security officers were on the platform when the shots were fired. And they were able to shield patrons and get them to safety. They were able to alert Metro Transit Police. D.C. Police, along with Transit Police, evacuated the Metro Station, and the teenage victim was taken to the hospital where he died. We certainly do not want this to be the pattern of behavior for our young people. So it is important to us to understand that we have young people that are good young people, and then we have those of them that create kind of this kind of activity, and we want to bring these folks to justice. Catholic University issued a shelter in place as a precaution while police look for the suspect. The university lifted the shelter in place after detectives canvassed the campus and found no active threat. Brookland neighbors say they're fed up with the amount of violence happening so close to home. Somebody's child is gone. You know, you can't bring that person back. You know, so we're asking the community to please do something about this. I was horrified, obviously. You know, I, I come to this metro almost every day. You know, and um, less so now. Police say the suspect was seen wearing a black hoodie, black jacket, blue jeans, and white and black shoes. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. In Northeast, Dominique Moody, News 4. Redline train should be running normally again tonight. Again, D.C. police are still searching for that shooter. Look for updates on News 4 today beginning at 4 a.m.